Well, hey there, everybody. It's been a while. Things kind of going on in life. You know how that goes. Well, I am so excited to see y'all today. We are going to look at the new um, possibilities that they've added to castle decorating. There are now new options that is going to change the whole game of glitching. No more will we have to use rugs and platforms and crates and so on and so forth to get the special thing put together that we want. I'm going to go over a few things and show you just what you can do. I mean, it is so I am so excited over all this stuff. It is really, really cool. Now, I guess the first thing we will start with, I'm going to move this tree. I would love to have this tree out in the water. So, we are going to put it over here by the edge. Now, when we click on it, you're going to see this brand new advanced move. That little button. And we're going to open that up. And then we have different options here. We've got to move it left and right. We've got forward and backward. And we've got up and down. Now, the sensitivity... I'll show that to you here shortly. And then you can also switch to this kind of mode. But, um, yeah, I flunked algebra. <laughs> so, I'm not going to be using that one. That makes no sense to me. But this is what's really, really cool. Now, we've got the sensitivity way up at the top. So, you'll see when we go left, it moves it just a slight bit. Now, that will be very helpful for very minor changes where you've got something. You just need to move it a little bit closer. You're going to use this, and you put the sensitivity to high or low. I think this, this is kind of backwards because this should be high, in my opinion, and it should move it more, and this should be low. And move it a lot less. But as you can see, it's a little backwards to me. So, we've got, I showed you the left and right at the high sensitivity. Let's put it down low. I prefer that anyways. Um, you can go forward. You can go backward. You can move it both directions any way you want. Up and down. Take it all the way to the top, and look, it's way up there in the sky. Or, in the opposite direction, you can take it down. Which gives you a whole different effect to the tree. It looks a whole lot different than it did. Now, what we're going to do here, I want to move this out to the water. And then we are going to sink it down. Looky there. Now, when you get done and get it placed in the position that you want it, make sure you accept that change. Or it's going to revert right back to where you had it. Now, see how that looks? We've got it right there in the water. That'll work for boats, plants, anything you can imagine. You can now move out and set in the water. No glitching required, no platforms, no rugs, no scrolling the mouse with a rug, none of that. Because we've, we've now got these changes added. Now, let's show you some other things here that you are going to be able to do with it. Now, you know those globes. Where are the globes? I've got a globe here somewhere. Dun, 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 dun. There it is. Everybody likes these globes, but you don't always want them to be seen. So what you can do here, if I can ever click on it, we're going to open up the advanced move, and we are going to move that just inside the wall. Click green for accept. And then look, we've still got the effect from the globe, but the globe is now hidden. No glitching required. 
sometimes glitching can it can take you time and just really get on your nerves when things don't go the way you want them to this update that they've made the spring update allows you to bypass a lot of that aggravation let's get that out of the way now some other cool things there are so so many 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 things you're going to be able to do with this some other ideas here here let's take this coral we like this coral i like the coral and we're going to place it there open up advanced mode and we want to move that up click accept and it's going to sit right up there now we can take it a little further with glitching and get it just a little bit closer so let me pick this up and do I even have a rug yeah I do now just think if you can glitch this if it's gonna work let's see if it's gonna work first of all we're gonna take this and we want to put this right up as close to this as we can get it and my glitching skills are not working today now got it in a little bit closer and we're going to take it up check accept and there we go you've got the coral coming out of it now we can actually move that a little bit more to get it closer so let's see and you can play with it till you get it you can even have vines coming out of it look at that can you see that that is like so cool oh I've done myself in here now I can't click on it there we go let's back up oh my goodness well dummy you got to open that up to be able to do it good grief I swear sir I sometimes I wonder about you we don't want that we want this well I'm gonna move that anyway so you can do lots and lots of things here's another cute little thing I saw um, bum, ba -dum, bum, bum, bum. I want to put do a living log and then I would like to have the birdhouse in the living log. So I'm going to put the birdhouse right next to it. Click on this living log. Go to advance. And we are going to move that. And check it out. Is that cool or what? We can hide things in walls. We can put things together. I mean, just let your imagination go wild. Let's put a ball out in the water. Here we go. And advanced. And we're going to put it out there in the water. Always click OK. And you got the ball floating in the water now some other really cool ideas <coughs> you can also place your item now I'm gonna raise this one up a little bit because I'm gonna show you something cool you raise it up click OK now we're gonna slide this druids chamber right up under it and look at that you got the flames at the top of it we can even take that a little bit higher too in fact I should have so let's take this a little bit higher you're gonna have to do adjustments there we go that look that looks really nah that'll do always check accept so it stays and then just move this on over and look at that you've got that inside the chambers druid burial chambers um, let me think what else can I show you real quick um, dun, 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 dun. oh there's just so much you can do with it what you really need to do is just get out there 
and play around with it and just see how much you can do. Whoop, wrong one. See how much you can do. It's so easy. It is very straightforward. I'll put that out there and click OK and then that's out in the water. It works on everything y'all. It really does. It is fabulous. This is one of the most exciting updates. You can just move everything. You can put things inside of things like I showed you here. You can, cr oh, 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 let's go over here. You can crisscross walls. Watch this. All you need to do is just play with it and then let your imagination go wild. Just like with Castle Magic. I have seen some major incredible things done with Castle Magic. And now we've got the chance to do some major incredible things with this. So you see I've got a wall here, a window wall here, and a window wall here. What I want to do, we are going to move the wall. And, whoop, yep. And looky there. We have got ourselves an original little arch here. Couldn't you have fun playing with that in some way? I know I could. So it works with the castle blocks. It works with anything. Basically anything. And if you can combine some of this with Castle Magic, oh my gosh, it would be so amazing. Let's check this out. We're going to put this here, but we're going to move it back. I want to move it back, backwards. And you can drag that on in. It slides and goes with anything. You can connect a fence with it. Let's bring this over here. I want to move it. Let's bring it over here. And I need to make some room. Yeah, this might kind of dump it and go. Now we want this to be connected to that fence. So we are going to... There you go. You can move it anywhere along there. Look at that. Click OK. And you've got the fencing now connected to the castle block. So, I guess that about covers most anything. You've just got to play with it. Play with it. I've shown you the basics. It is so very easy. You've got your advanced mode, you've got move left, move right, the sensitivity you can adjust on how far you want that to move. You can have it barely move, that's for like just barely sliding something in. You can go forward and backward. Once again, the sensitivity that you set here will show you how far you're going to actually go with that. Back and forth. Up and down. You can take it pretty high up there with the sensitivity high. Now if we drop that sensitivity, it's just going to barely be above ground. You see that? You can adjust it any way you want. Um, midway. You can do down. To make like a little cubby hole here. Okay, I got myself stuck. So, that's about it. I hope this helps you understand it. And, oh my gosh, I can't wait for y'all to open up your creativity and show me what you can do with this. I am really looking forward to seeing what you come up with with the new advances in housing decorating. So, Sarai Willowbreeze signing off, and I will see y'all next time.